Alrighty, hello there. Welcome to the Dead by Daily weekly shop update for the week of September 24th. Apparently, uh, there was an update problem with on the YouTube side that we missed the Fireman collection of last week's one. Even though I uploaded it, everything went fine. It swore it was live for an hour and just somehow YouTube said, nope, this isn't going to work. And I found about this about yesterday. So we're just going to do an extra shop special and we're going to show off the Fire Moon Festival stuff from last week as well as what's new this week. Uh, as a very good idea. The Chaos Shuffle is back in full force, meaning you can play with randomized perks and everything until October 8th. But in addition to that, until October 1st, from now to October 1st is times three blood points, which makes it a great time to grind, almost, almost as good as the anniversary event was. So make sure you play, get those blood points and prestige some characters and enjoy. Now with that, we also have some new skins for the Gameplay Expo. We're going to be looking at them shortly. Uh, do we actually have a tome for this? I don't believe so. It's just a modifier. Uh, we can check real quick. Cause I know there was one for the Castlevania one. Yeah, it's just the current tome. So nothing special, nothing new that's coming out with it. Uh, the game's a little loud. I'm sorry about that. I'm trying a new audio setup. Uh, so with that, there is the new Shrine of Secrets, which is as following. Go back one. Game of Foot, Friends to the End, Dramatity, and Bardic Inspiration, all of which are all licensed except for Skull Merchants. Friends to the End is a very good perk, which is you're obsessed with one survivor when you hook an obsession that is not when you hook someone that is not the obsession, the obsession is revealed to you and become exposed. Uh, dramaturgy, whatever you want to call it. I call it drama club because it's easier to say than the actual is basically an RNG role. You run around, you activate the ability and one of four things will happen of becoming exposed, screaming, greening, getting an item or getting a speed boost. Bardic inspiration allows you to play your guitar and give boost to skill checks for people around you. <coughs> Sorry, but there is a slight problem that the perk is bugged to my knowledge. And I have no idea what Game of Foot does. Oh, after breaking a damn uh, while and chasing the obsession, if you break a wall or a pal, you gain haste. All right. Now with that, let's look at the store. We do have the free gift, which is a free rift here. Yay. And we're going to look at the fire moon festival skins for the new ones because I was bad and forgot them. Uh, the three new skins are seeking answers for Jake Park. The lonely celebration skin for the spirit and the infinite world for a stary. Those are the fire moon festival ones and there was a bundle for it, but the bundle's certainly gone away now. There is also new ones for gameplay expo, four new skins, I believe. Right off the bat, we got arcade machine singularity, which is sporting arcade machines instead of his machine spots. Last song for Rickster, those are a lot of chains. I will definitely be buying this when it goes available for shards. I love the skull on the actual weapon. We got racing simulator for Yui. Nice to know that Yui's getting some love, an actual really good skin. And she is sporting her pink lucky scarf there as well and last but not least virtual skater for nia none of these are sets and i will probably get the nia because that's just how i am i, I am a little bit interested to see how this stacks up with her other gear 
So the pants fit pretty decently, matches elsewhere. Nice that that matches that purple pretty nice. All in all, pretty solid pants. All right, now let's see what it looks like with other pants. So I think this is where the, um, I want to say it's a bodysuit or a unitard. Starts becoming a little bit weird with this when you put it with other outfits. The pants definitely goes with everything though. And I do really like that backpack. Hey, this is actually, I think one of her first skins that has a tattoo on it. Um, in addition to that, we got the new weekly bundles. All right. We got the weekly survivor bundle with his Jeff in the cold weather cocoon outfit, which I believe is from a rest as part of the, uh, Chrissy Alice collection. We also got the new weekly charm bundle, which is Oni themed. We have a new killer bundle, which is Legion and the new gear shoplifter bundle outfit for Susie. As well as from the rift is a golden duck award, as well as the manic rider for Jeff. The new weekly developer's choice bundle is Gamer Expo. -ish. Because you got the Gamer Expo top from her, as well as her Lions outfit, which is from the Gameplay Expo. However, they don't include the shorts from it. Instead, I believe they include these. Yeah. From the Days Ahead collection. But it does give her that uh, cool little outfit inspired look to it. In addition to that, we also get Carmina's outfit, which is the Withered Crown. The robe of reprisal with the withered crown. And which one? And the venomous, Venice, Venia, oh my God. Venuous blade from the blooming delusion outfit. So she gets three outfit parts from three different outfits. Looks decent. I'm partial to this artist outfit. If I ever had to buy one, would be that. Even this is nice. And I feel like mixing this with that, with a little bit of this one, is that it could have been a little bit better, but it's a developer's choice bundle, not our choice, as well as two charms. The little gamer icon, as well as the crow. Which is seen here. All right. So that is everything with the new bundle. And I believe this also covers everything that was unlocked or released with the uh, Castlevania collection that we learned. Which means there might not be skin releases next week. If it is, it might be a rift release because all new skins that were leaked have been released. Um, in other news in the world of Dead by Daylight, Behavior recently bought a new studio to put under the BHVR logo of Red Hook. And Red Hook are the developers of Darkest Dungeon and Darkest Dungeon 2, which means they are now owned by Behavior, allowing them... Basically, they're going to be published by them, which means we might get Darkest Dungeon in Dead by Daylight, which would be pretty rad if you ask me. I'm Val, thank you for watching, and this has been the Weekly Shop Update.